Hello everyone, so this video is about the computation methods, standard and alternative algorithms in mathematics. So we will just simply talk about the standard and alternative algorithms. Let's define first what is algorithm in mathematics. So algorithm is a process used to solve problems. And when we say standard algorithm, it is a normally used process to solve problems. And we have the alternative algorithm, which is the process that can be used as a substitute for solving a problem. So again, alternative is the substitute method that we are using. I'll be showing some example. So this is an example of multiplying by two digit number. So first we have to align the factors. Just a simple recall, factors are the numbers to be multiplied. Under the factor, we have the multiplicand and the multiplier. So multiplicand is the number at the top, which is 35. And multiplier is 12. So second one is multiply each digit in the multiplicand, which is 35 by the ones digit of the multiplier. So let's start 5 times 2 is equal to 10. And we need to regroup 1 here. So 3 times 2 is equal to 6 and 6 plus 1 is 7. Next one, multiply each digit in the multiplicand which is again the 35 by the tenth digit of the multiplier which is 1. So 35 times 1 is equal to 35 because any number multiplied by 1 is equal to the number itself. So since there is no number here, just simply put 0. So we will add the partial product. So these are the partial products. After adding, we have now the final product. So this is the standard algorithm that we usually uh, use, which is the long method of multiplication. Now I have some alternative and I'll be showing it to you. So first is by using the lattice method. So lattice method, we will make a square like this with diagonals inside. So 35, the multiplicand, we will write it here. And the multiplier, which is 12, we will write it here at the side. Now we will also multiply, but with one digit number, which is easier. So 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Since it's only one digit, we put 0 here. Next, 5 times 2 is 10. Next one, 3 times 1 is equal to 3. And 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Now we have here, uh, we will add this one. So 0, 5 plus 1 is uh, 6, plus 6 is 12, red group 1. So 3, add the red group digit, which is 4. And since it's 0, so 0. Now we will get the digit here. So the answer is 420. The same, simple as that. The same answer next. We also have the box method. So the, uh, by using the place value, since 35 is intense digit, so we will write it here, 30 and 5. And then at the side, we will have 10 and 2 because... 1 is in the tens digit. Now we will also apply 30 times 10 is equal to 300. 5 times 10 is equal to 50. And 30 times 2 is equal to 60. And 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Next, we will add. So the same answer, 420. That's it. Thank you for watching my video. Goodbye.